Hi, and welcome to today's episode. Have you ever tasted a dish at the restaurant and then you just end up craving it and then you've been, you try to recreate it, try to recreate it and uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes you just get so close. Well, I have a dish like that. Um, I think that I got pretty close, which is good enough for me. And it is from the Palm restaurant and it is their salad called Monday Night Salad. Now we used to have a Palm restaurant in Tampa and then it closed down. Now it's a restaurant where you walk in and there's all of these caricatures on the walls. It's, it's, it's um, great, they, have, they used to have great steak and lobster, but that salad is what I would crave out of the entire menu that they had. So I have kind of deconstructed the ingredients in my mind and here we are, we're going to try and recreate the Monday night salad from the Palm restaurant. So, every, uh, I remember all the ingredients being chopped really fine. So I have prepared, I'm gonna dry off this lettuce. So I have prepared my chopping bowl right here. So into the chopping bowl, I'm gonna add half of the iceberg lettuce. I'm going to add a quarter of an onion. I'm gonna chop it kind of roughly on my cutting board. Okay, I have two garlic cloves. And then we're just going to chop everything like so, just to make sure that everything is very, very small as it goes in. Okay. Now everything is still going to get chopped more inside this bowl. This is a pretty handy bowl to have. It's just a regular wooden bowl with this chopping device right in it. Great for making salad. So I have one really nice big tomato. Okay. I'm going to slice this up in here as well. Remember, we don't have to be super precise or perfect at this point because we're going to give it a nice extra chop inside the bowl as we chop in this lettuce. Okay, now the next ingredient is a radish. So. I remember them being sliced really thin. And then after they were sliced, I remember them being chopped as well. So I'm just going to take these and go like that. And then in the bowl it goes. And then another ingredient that I remember this salad having was anchovies. So there were quite a few, so I have um, four, five, six. So let's go with about a dozen of anchovies, which is gonna, um, let me just give them a little bit of a chop on the cutting board, and then we'll put them right into the salad bowl. And then one last ingredient would be the roasted red peppers. So we're gonna take one whole one out. And again, we're going to slice it just a little bit roughly right on our cutting board. Okay, and now we chop. Now as I'm chopping, I'm making sure that I'm slicing through the lettuce and the rest of the ingredients because we want to create a uniform mixture here. Now I usually use this chopping bowl a whole ton, not just for the salads, uh, for the these traditional style salads, but I also make 
my egg salad in this and the chicken salad. So this is a great little tool to have in your kitchen. Now I remember this being chopped pretty fine. So I also remember this salad being served on a chilled plate and it's spread on the plate like a carpaccio style. So getting pretty close here. Now this is close to what I remember. And I remember the dressing being just fairly simple. So I made this red wine vinegar dressing. So all it is is a third of a cup red wine vinegar. There's a, I put a couple of minced garlic cloves in it, some salt and a two thirds of a cup of olive oil. So we're going to mix this in. And this is just like I remember. Let me just taste it first. Mm. This is amazing. This is so good. This is just like I remember. This could even use a little bit more anchovies. Now, I remember the salad being like spread on the plate, nice and in a single layer. Mm -mm -mm. So pretty. This brings back such good memories. I actually celebrated my 30th birthday at the Palm, which was about a decade ago. A lot of great memories from that restaurant. And just like that, I have recreated my favorite salad from the Palm restaurant. I hope you give it a try and enjoy. And hopefully I'll be making some of these experiments from some of my favorite restaurants. If you like this video, give it a like, give it a subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and live a deliciously healthy life.